Okay, I wasn't going to do this, but uh, <clears throat> had a change of heart at the last minute, and um, this will be a, a, a video about uh, uniform circular motion and non-uniform circular motion, which we look at in Chapter 5. We've done problems involving um, uh, where the net force is equal to zero, and those are equilibrium problems. We've looked at problems where the net force was constant in magnitude, constant in direction. And those are most of the problems of things sliding with uh, constant acceleration. Here we looked at in uniform circular motion a problem where the net force is constant in magnitude but changing in direction. Um, Uniform circular motion is motion in a circular path at constant speed. Uniform in a motion in a circular path at constant speed. Um, the velocity, which is speed and direction, is changing, and therefore there must be some sort of acceleration. But this acceleration, which is caused by a force, is not a force that increases the speed or decreases the speed. Rather, it is a force that allows the speed to be constant. Uh, consequently, this force must be perpendicular to the direction of the velocity. And hence, we have this radial inward direction. Here's what you need to remember about uniform circular motion. Whenever we have uniform circular motion, there must be a net force on the object directed radially inward of magnitude mv squared over r. Again, a net force directed radially inward of magnitude mv squared over r. And that's the key concept you must remember about uniform circular motion. There is a name for this net force, and it's called the centripetal force. I, I'm not sure why uh, a net force needs a name, but some people wanted to call it something, so it, it's called the centripetal force. I will never use this, this term. In any case, what we want to do in order to solve problems involving uniform circular motion, our strategy will be to draw the free body diagram of the object. Secondly, locate the radial inward direction. This is very important. Which direction is radial inward? In other words, from where the object is, where is the center of the circle? That's the radial inward direction. Uh, in a direction that's tangent to that radial inward net force must be zero, uh, but the component that is in that direction, the radial direction, must have magnitude of mv squared over r. Let's take a look at some examples. 